everybody. It's time for another NHL trade tree video, and this is actually a trade that was requested in the comments of my first trade tree video, and it ended up being way more complicated and going way deeper than I initially realized. It's the 2014 trade between the Lightning and Rangers that sent Martin St. Louis to New York and Ryan Callahan, among some other things, going to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Before we get started, I just ask you to please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Helps out a ton and is greatly appreciated, but let's not waste any more time. Let's delve right into it. March 5th, 2014, the New York Rangers acquired veteran winger Martin St. Louis from Tampa Bay in exchange for Ryan Callahan, a 2014 conditional second round pick and a 2015 first round pick. And it ended up getting way more complicated than that. And is still a trade tree that is alive today and could continue to grow. Added in part of the 2014 conditional second round pick also ended up with a 2015 second going to the Rangers and a 2015 Seventh going to the Tampa Bay Lightning, but we'll get to that. When the trade was made, the big pieces were Marty St. Louis going to the Rangers and Ryan Callahan going to the Lightning. St. Louis went on to play the rest of 2013-14 and the 2014-15 season with New York before retiring after 2015. He played 93 regular season games, 22 goals, 38 assists for 60 points and a plus 13 rating. He also went on two very deep playoff runs with New York. They went to the Stanley Cup Finals in 2014, and they went to the Conference Finals in 2015, where they ended up losing to none other than the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ryan Callahan, he played 307 games as a member of the Lightning, scoring 54 goals, 78 assists for 132 points and a plus 7 rating. Now, when he was originally traded, he was a top six winger. He was a second line guy who was giving 20 goals and 50 points pretty much every year. Unfortunately, he dealt with a lot of injuries while he was in Tampa Bay and um, kind of eventually got relegated to more of a fourth line type role. And un unfortunately, because of those injuries, had to retire early. So Callahan never really fulfilled his full potential with Tampa Bay, but was still part of some very good Lightning teams. Now this is where things really pick it up as far as getting complicated go. The 2014 conditional second round pick became a 2014 first round pick when the New York Rangers made it to the conference finals in 2014. Uh, they obviously made it further than that to the Stanley Cup Finals, falling just short, losing to L.A. But that conditional second became a first-round pick. What also happened is that because Ryan Callahan re-signed with Tampa Bay, the Lightning had to send a 2015 second-round pick to New York, and New York sent a 2015 seventh-round pick to the Tampa Bay Lightning. So what happened was Tampa ended up trading both of those picks that they got. The 2014 second that became a first, they ended up trading uh, for a couple of second round picks. And with those picks, they took defenseman Dominic Machine and defenseman John McLeod. So Machine and McLeod, neither of them ever played an NHL game. Machine now plays over in the KHL after spending some time in the AHL in Tampa's system. And McLeod went to Boston University for four years after being drafted, uh, was not signed, and now plays in the ECHL and has never played pro hockey higher than the ECHL. The seventh round pick that Tampa Bay got in exchange for that 2015 second be, uh, ended up being traded, ironically, back to the New York Rangers in exchange for defenseman Daniel Walcott. Now, Walcott played one game with Tampa Bay last season um, and was no points, minus one. That was his only NHL game. He, had be, he has been a staple for the Syracuse Crunch, however, in the AHL and uh, spent a lot of time in Tampa Bay's system in that playing in the AHL. So, 
the other side of this, the pick that uh, the 2015 first round pick was also traded by the Tampa Bay Lightning. They traded back in the 2015 draft and ended up getting two picks for that 2015 first. And those picks became Mitchell Stevens, who went on to play 45 games for the Lightning, scoring three goals, four assists for seven points and a minus 14 rating. And here is the big one and why this trade is still helping the Lightning to this day. Anthony Sorelli was the second pick that they got trading that 2015 first. And um, they ended up drafting Sorelli. He's gone on to play 218 games with Tampa, scoring 49 goals, 67 assists, 116 career points, and a plus 64 career rating. And uh, Sorelli has become a key middle six forward for the Lightning and, uh, and a guy that was a huge part of their two Stanley Cup winning teams the past couple years. And uh, a guy that's still a very big part of the Tampa Bay lineup. Mitchell Stevens this offseason was traded to the Detroit Red Wings for a 2022 sixth round draft pick. So obviously we don't know who that sixth round pick is yet. But um, that is still open as well and an opportunity for this tree to grow as is Anthony Sorelli. And as is uh, Daniel Walcott. So this this is a, still a, a evolving trade tree here between these two teams. Now we've got to go back to the Rangers side. So obviously St. Louis played 93 games, played a bunch more in the playoffs, helped the Rangers on two deep playoff runs, but then he retired. That 2015 second round pick that the Rangers got because Callahan re-signed with Tampa ended up being used in the trade with Arizona that brought Keith Yandel to New York. So that uh, that that uh, second round pick was a piece of the trade that brought Keith Yandel, Chris Summers, and a 2016 fourth round pick to the New York Rangers. Chris Summers played six games with the um, with the Rangers at the NHL level, had no points, and was mi a minus two, and ended up being waived and... Um, signing playing in the AHL with Pittsburgh. Um, Keith, the 2016 fourth round pick ended up becoming defenseman Tarmo Runinen, who is still part of the Rangers organization and played four games with New York, one assist for his only point in a plus one rating and uh, still part of the Rangers organization. And then obviously the big piece of that trade was Keith Yandel, who went on to play 103 games with the Rangers, scoring seven goals, 51 assists for 58 points and a plus two rating. And then he was traded to the Florida Panthers in exchange for a 2016 sixth round pick and a 2017 fourth round pick. The 2016 sixth round pick became goaltender Tyler Wall, who went on to play at UMass Lowell in college and is now in the Rangers minor league system and still part of the Rangers organization. And the 2017 fourth round pick was traded back for a later 2017 fourth round pick and a 2017 sixth round pick. The fourth round pick became defenseman Brandon Crawley, who has not played in the NHL, but has been a staple of the Hartford Wolfpack lineup down in the uh, in the AHL and uh, for the Rangers farm team. And the 2017 six-round pick became forward Morgan Barron, who played four, some, uh, five games for the Rangers last year, has been in the minors, has gotten a call up to the NHL. He had a goal... And uh, for his only NHL point and a minus one rating at the end of the season last year. But he looks like he could potentially have uh, some NHL potential and could someday become a regular in an NHL lineup, if not for the Rangers somewhere else. So Crawley, Barron, Wall, Runinen, all of these guys, their trade tree is still open as well. But this ended up being a very, very complicated trade with all the moves that ended up happening, especially with the draft picks. But at the end of the day, this is another great example of how a trade uh, obviously has a big effect when it is made. Callahan going to the Lightning was huge. St. Louis going to the Rangers and the Rangers going on the playoff runs that they went on was absolutely huge. But it also shows 
how far down the future these things can still have a huge impact. And we're seeing that now. I mean, this trade is still paying dividends in the form of Anthony Sorelli for the Tampa Bay Lightning seven years after the trade was made. And, you know, basically six years after Marty St. Louis retired, the the Lightning are still reaping the benefits of Anthony Sorelli being in their lineup. And Anthony Sorelli would have never been a member of the Lightning had this trade not happened. So, and then for on the Rangers side of things, I mean, look at what all these, you know, the second round pick turned into Keith Yandel. Keith Yandel turned into some more draft picks. And now Morgan Barron, Tyler Wall, and Brandon Crawley are all still in the Rangers organization. And uh, they were all you uh, gotten from Keith Yandel, who has helped gotten because of that 2015 second round pick. So this trade is still very much affecting these teams to this day. This trade tree is still very much evolving and very much alive. And um, it's funny how all these years later, it's still having such a big, big impact on both of these franchises, especially Tampa Bay with Anthony Sorelli. So... That is going to do it here. A very interesting trade tree here between the Lightning and the Rangers. Goes going all the way back to 2014, and uh, it's still we're still seeing the effects now. So that's a really cool one, and uh, and really fun to look at and just see you know all the moving parts here and how all these pieces come together and what they eventually turned into and the effect that they still have to this day. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store, donation link, and channel memberships down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys soon.